G'day gamers, Vader G here, welcome back to the channel. Finally got our hands on the APK V660, and as you can see with this uh, opening screen that I'm opening this video with, we've got a new epic quest. Uh, there was a fair bit of suspicion that it could be an epic quest just with the volume of characters uh, and uniforms. Um, and yeah, this is a massive update uh, for Netmarble. Um, Hope everyone, so firstly, hope everyone's enjoying their Black Friday. Uh, if you've decided to purchase anything game with your crystals that you already had in your account, I hope you've had good luck, uh, particularly if you're looking at uh, card chests uh, or CTP chests or anything of that nature. Um, okay, back to this update. What we're going to do, uh, we're going to fly through these uh, new characters um, and I'll give you a bit of an overview. We'll have a look, we'll have a look and see what type they are. Uh, if we get t enough time, we'll have a look and see where we can actually acquire uh, these characters. You'll notice my audio is a lot worse than normal. Uh, that's because I'm doing this um, APK on my phone. And I've just got some shitty headphone things that plug straight into the phone uh, to sort of generate reasonably quick videos uh, through this APK period. Noting it is my Saturday. Uh, I love my Saturday. And yeah. Everyone's got their weekend, right, and priorities. So I'm just going to run through this stuff pretty quickly. Uh, as you can see on screen, and this is probably a really nice place to get an overview of this update. As you can see on screen, it looks like we've got Molecule Man up the top there uh, as a native tier 2. Uh, if you look, we're, so we'll go from left to right. Sentry down the bottom, you can see he has a tier 3 skill there. Uh, we've got Scorpion, brand new character. So, okay, Molecule Man, brand new character. Sentry, brand new character. Scorpion, brand new character, Green Goblin, tier 2 is a requirement, uh, an existing character, but he's got a uniform. Uh, Dakin, uh, brand new character uh, in the game. Bullseye, existing character, uh, but once again with a uniform. Ares, which is a brand new character again. And Moonstone, brand new character. Now, the interesting part is, uh, I believe uh, that Sentry and Ares are definitely... Uh, superhero, the rest of that bottom line are super villains. So there's a nice balance. It's nice to have the super villains coming into the game. I've always thought there's been a shortage of super villains in Marvel Future Fight. Um, and we'll run through and have a bit of a look at each of these characters uh, now. Uh, I'm not going to run through at this point in time all the requirements of the epic quest. Um, just the fact that it's going to be an epic quest. There's going to be a cost attached to it. I don't know what that cost is. Based off other epic quests, it's like 6,600 6, crystals or something like that. Um, assume that it's going to be the same. Okay, so the epic quest is called Dark Rain. I'm not going to run through it in this video. Uh, that would be uh, quite a long process. So, let's get to it. I've organized uh, three teams here with the new characters. So, guys, here's our first glimpse of V660 with the characters uh, and the character modeling. Uh, you can see Sentry on the right-hand side there, Moonstone in the middle, bit of a uh, Captain Marvel uh, replica. Uh, Scorpion actually looks really cool. Um, I, I like the look of him. I like that uh, the glowing barb uh, on the tip of his tail there. Uh, that looks pretty cool. Uh, quick overview here. We've got Green Goblin in the middle, uh, kind of disguised as Iron Patriot. Uh, we've got Dakin on the right-hand side, no uniform, so he's just bare kit. And then on the left-hand side, what appears to be Hawkeye uh, is actually a bullseye uniform, uh, which makes him a speed villain. So kind of cool. So Green Goblin becomes a uh, blast villain. So it'll be interesting to see how he plays, uh, to see how he actually goes within the game, um, and see if he can take on Magneto for that uh, title of blast villain meta. Uh, we'll have a bit of a look at that later. Uh, Dakin, uh, combat supervillain. Um, I don't know, he looks kind of bland compared to the rest, to be honest. Uh, okay, Team 3, here we've got Molecule Man, uh, Ares, and Sentry. We saw Sentry on the loading screen just before. Uh, so let's have a look. What we might do, let's have a quick look at some of these units here. So Molecule Man, uh, he is a universal uh, supervillain. So native tier 2, universal supervillain, and... I don't know. This this could this be the end of Thanos finally uh, in Alliance Battle Extreme or PVE modes? Uh, we'll certainly get to that and have a bit of a look. See, uh, we might just quickly run through his skills here. Uh, now, obviously, he's obtained through the Epic Quest. We don't have to figure that out. Uh, we've it's already been figured out for us. Uh, we'll look at his passive. 
uh, applies to self, revive with uh, 80% HP, um, which is kind of a real PvP type uh, passive. Uh, we've got first skill here, uh, bind, second skill, energy damage, third skill, incapacitation, once again, quite a PvP oriented uh, type of uh, trait on your skill. 30% decrease of all attacks, so applies to enemies, okay. Uh, applies to self, immune to all damage, and once again, he's looking PvP to me, uh, just based on those first three skills. Applies to enemies uh, on the four skill, uh, paralysis, 10% decrease of all defenses, stacks up to 60, nice. Uh, applies to self, 20% recovery, max HP. We've got penetration, uh, decrease, all, decrease all damage received by 50. Man, if he's not PvP... I don't know what this is. And his fifth skill, he has time freeze, right? Uh, applies to enemies, time freeze, stun, and then energy damage. Uh, his passive, decrease the effect of reflect by 50%. Man, once again, it's PvP all over. Uh, and his leadership, uh, interesting leadership. Uh, applies to all allies, ignores damage, uh, increase, decrease effect between self and opposing faction. Mm. Uh, decreases chain hit damage by 15% when attacked. Activation rate when debuffed applies to all allies, uh, removes all debuffs and cooldown time 10 seconds. Well, if he's not a PvP unit, then strike me pink and call me lucky, because he uh, he looks like it to me. Um, so yeah, I mean, how OP will he be? I don't know. I'm sure we can do some uh, sort, of, sort of timeline testing uh, in this APK. But, wow. I mean, do we want to have a quick look at his skills now? I say why not. Let's load it up. Let's get it happening. I'm kind of curious. Although, all these skills are blanked out. So, I don't know what's happening with that. But we can see his uh, sixth skill here. Well, hang on a sec. He's just native tier two, right? So, what is that? A, is that an awaken skill? And what is this skill here? And why the hell are his 1 through to 5th fifth skills blocked out? Is this a glitch in the APK? Well, well, could be. I don't know. I have no idea. But, um, look, based off his skill descriptions, uh, and these are the only two skills we can tap on, I can try and tap on these others, but nothing's happening, which is kind of shit. Um, but these things happen in these test builds where things don't necessarily go to plan. And maybe if I log back out and log back into game, maybe his skills will, be, or will reappear. I don't know. Anyhow. Interesting that he's got effectively two six skills, uh, and they don't actually appear in his skill descriptions, right? No, they don't. Well, that is interesting. Interesting. Okay, so we'll have to wait and see how that pans out. Okay, next tab, let's have a quick look at uh, Sentry. So Sentry is a universal superhero, uh, and he looks... You know what he looks like? He looks a bit like that uh, evil dude off um, Harry Potter. Not the not the son, the, the father. But anyway, digressing. Uh, getting a little bit too caught up there in that uh, kind of stuff. So if we have a look where we get Sentry, uh, use Epic Quest Dark Rain to level up, rank up, and master up. Okay, so he's the main he's the main sort of dude within the Epic Quest, and that's how we get him. I'm, I'm cool with that. That sounds fine to me, you know. If you're paying for an epic quest, it's nice to get something pretty good. Uh, let's have a quick look at his uh, skill descriptions. Well, let's have a look at his tier 3 skill. Silence, uh, decrease all defense, nice. Uh, and then applies to self-penetration, invincible for 10 seconds. Increased damage by 80%. Not bad, not bad at all. His tier 2 passive, increased chain hit damage by 25% when attacking. That's very nice as well. Uh, super armor, all defenses. First skill, burn damage. Uh, very handy in Alliance Battle Extreme, the old burn damage as we've seen for different seasons. So, so far we've seen Silence and Burn. Uh, let's see if he has Paralysis on any of his other skills. Uh, his second skill has Burn Damage again. Has 100% chance for immunity. Uh, has Accumulation uh, based on Damage Dealt, which is super OP skill. Um, let's have a look at his third here. Uh, we've got Bleed Damage, uh, removes Elasticity, Bond, Incapacitation, Decrease 10% of uh, all defenses up to 50%. Four skill uh, deals 40% burn damage, so no paralysis as of yet. Uh, another sort of defense down stacking uh, setup. 
And then we've got uh, self buff, massive self buff, 50% increase of all attacks and all uh, defense, and a big one to uh, crit rate there as well. Fifth skill, paralysis. There we go. So he's got the full gambit of skills in regards to Alliance Battle Extreme. Um, his passive, oh, what else was on the fifth skill? Okay. Recovery, max, max HP, recovery, that's always nice. Uh, and we've got uh, penetration on there as well as an invincibility. So it looks like an extremely well-rounded unit uh, from a skill description point of view. Uh, his passive, uh, activation rate when dead. So he's got a revive as well. Revive with 80% HP. Hmm. Similar to Molecule Man. Similar to, to that sort of setup there. And his leadership, okay, activation when debuffed, removes all debuffs. And 30% increase of all attacks. Very powerful leadership there uh, for PvP for sure. And just general play. Um, I don't know, just looking at him, he looks like he's going to be a super powerful unit, right? He's, uh, he's certainly a Superman uh, looking unit. And Marvel probably doesn't like me saying that. But of course, these sort of caped crusaders. Uh, well, I shouldn't say caped crusader because that's Batman. But these sort of dudes flying around with capes uh, always remind me of Superman because uh, that's kind of what I grew up with. Let's have a bit of a look at his uh, skill preview in game. Okay, fifth skill. Always start with the fifth. Why muck around with the others when you start with the fifth? Massive AoE there. Huge. Alright, fourth skill. Wow, nice channeling. Nice channeling. So up in the air, Superman punch down, and then channeling energy attack. Second skill. Well, we couldn't really see that. Let's have a look again. Charge backwards and forwards. There's a bit of a lunar uh, second skill there. First skill, up, down. Take that. You're on fire. Third skill. Just an epic series of punches. Man, look at that for a third skill. Look how many hits. Third skills usually don't have that many hits on them. Whoa. Yeah, so it's got a bit of damage over time on it as well as initial sort of blast. That looks very powerful for a third skill. Um, and then looks. let's have a look at the tier 3 skill. Wow, it's flashy. Whoa. Man, that's a flashy looking skill. Let's charge that up and get into that again. I like the look of that, just that, all that sort of gold specks everywhere. This is a, That's a cool attack, that channeling attack on the fourth skill. Look at that. Man, that's beautiful. That damage looks pretty beautiful as well. Man, that is, that is impressive stuff, eh? Uh, so that's Sentry for you guys. So, so far, Molecule Man and Sentry. Let's have a quick look at Ares. Uh, then I might pull this video up uh, and sort of stick it online. You guys can have a bit of a look. And I'll come back and we'll have a bit of a look at the other units as well, right, in the next video. Okay, so Ares is a combat superhero male. And... Ares is an interesting one because he cannot, you know, in theory he could either be villain or hero. Um, but, you know, in, in, in this game he's, he's hero, that's how they've made him. Uh, let's have a look and see where we get him from. Location can be found in quite through ally shifters in God of War uh, or Epic Quest Dark Reign. Also available monthly bonus deal. Uh, get 20 buyers uh, daily. So he's, he's a bio slug slash... Uh, ally shifter character, probably similar to Phyla Vel, I imagine, and you can probably, you know, I, I reckon you could probably get his bios through the actual epic quest as well, but we don't know that yet because we haven't run through the epic epic quest stuff. Let's have a bit of a look, and he has an awakened skill, right? I did a little bit of a sneak peek before. He has an awakened skill, uh, so let's have a quick look at the um, the actual stats there: uh, burn damage, chill damage, stun, freeze, uh, defense down. And then we've got the usual stuff, right, uh, for an Awakened uh, 6 skill. Uh, crit rate, crit damage, uh, ignore dodge, invincible, increased damage by 50, uh, and self-buff stuff in there, right? So quite nice. He's tier 2 passive, increased skill damage by 40, bonus by 30, kind of standard. Activation rate 50% um, when regular attacks, no, when skill is used. Uh, applies self 100% chance to increase critical damage by 100% on critical attacks. Wow. That is a very impressive skill. Uh, passive, I mean. Uh, his first skill, physical damage. Second skill, uh, has some bleed stun. Third skill, uh, immune tool damage on there as well, and a stun. 
his four skill uh, decrease all defenses up to 50%, and his fifth skill, 40% uh, burn, he's got a stun, uh, and then invincible, massive self buff. I mean, these self buffs on these fifth and fourth skills are getting huger and huger each update, uh, and his passive activation rate when HP is below 99%, applies itself 4% uh, recovery of max HP, so that's kind of Hulk like, right? Um, I can't exactly remember Hulk's numbers off the top of my head, but it's, I don't know, it, it sounds familiar. Uh, his leadership uh, applies to all allies, 30% increase of physical attack. Let's have a quick look at his skill preview in game, guys. Uh, and then I'm going to cut this video short. Uh, well, not short, it's already 15 minutes. I'm going to cut this video and go to, um, go to the other characters in the next video. Alright, so let's just attack these punks. So they come at us, start firing their shit. And let's have a bit of a look. He's pretty cool looking there with that buddy, that mohawk set up rolling around. And let's start off with the fifth skill because that is usually a pretty flashy looking skill. Whoa. Man, there's lots of shit going on there. Lots of stuff going on there. 723 hits, is that right? Wow. Look at that, he's just mowing him down with that Gatling gun. Kicks the Gatling gun up in the air, blows him up, and then just stands there as if that as if he does that every every minute of the day. Four skill. <laughs> Man, that's brutal, eh? That's brutal. He doesn't just hit him once, he just flogs him down there. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Someone's had a bit of fun with that animation. Third skill. Yeah, he's pretty cool looking, eh? Man, it's like a Diablo type move there, that sort of... That sort of circle hack and slash setup. Oh, look at that, it stays there as well. I didn't see that the first time, it stays on him. Look at that. Man, this does a tremendous amount of hits. That was a second skill there. Second skill is doing 100, like... 185 hits. First skill. Yeah, man. Powerful. Very powerful looking. Get these dudes lined up again. Crowd. And then we'll try out the Awaken skill and have a look and see what happens with it. Anyway, they're not coming over. Screw them. Alright, so Bullseye's in there. Far and away. There's that buddy Diablo move, the old Whirling Dervish. And then we've got uh, Moonstone coming in and doing a fair bit of damage as well. Well, it's just shy of a thousand hits. Uh, I'm going to say that that is... I don't know. These characters are just getting so powerful. Let's do it again. He's actually not even getting those couple behind him. Whoa, far up. That's bonkers, man. Absolutely bonkers. All right, I'm uploading this video, guys. If there's anything you want me to in, in if there's anything in particular you want me to check out, then um, you know, comment below. Alright guys.